Hey, DJ News with you again on the Middle Term Radio Podcast, doing another trailer reaction. This time we have Renfield 2023, directed by Chris McKay, stars Nicolas Cage, Nicholas Holt, and Carolyn Williams. And probably the most interesting thing about this film, I mean, I do love Cage. I do like Nicholas Holt a lot. Uh, but Carolyn Williams, that was a name that kind of shocked me uh, showing up in there. Uh, for those that aren't aware, she's most known for her Roles in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, Hatchet 3. Uh, she's a horror screen queen icon. Uh, so I'm really excited to see her uh, continue to work here and working with some in a bigger budget movie, obviously. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about that part of it. The plot is Dracula's henchman and inmate in a lunatic asylum. That's not a whole lot to go by, is it? Uh, obviously, Renfield is like Dracula's right-hand man throughout most movies and lore so i'm assuming nicholas hall is playing renfield and cage of course playing dracula which i'm not sure what to really think of this i don't know if it's going to be like a horror or is it going to be like horror comedy uh i'm not sure i can really see cage as like a horror kind of guy in terms of scaring people so i'm assuming unless he's just going crazy like if you see like mandy he's got the crazy eyes and whatnot but uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit of like comedy horror type stuff, which is okay. I, I think Cage has a knack for comedy, so. So let's get our whirl here. This is Renfield and uh, see what this shit's all about. Sorry to interrupt. Are you okay? I need to get out of a toxic relationship. Yeah. Why don't you start by telling us what brought you here? My boss, he's different. You can't get him out of your head. No. I need your assistance. I'm coming, Martha! Oh, you feel like he could destroy you with the snap of his fingers. Wouldn't even need to snap. Okay. Uh-huh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, what? Renfield. Bring me innocent victim. I want a handful of nuns, a busload of cheerleaders. And I just want a normal life again. But this modern world is a dangerous place. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. You saved my life. Did I watch you cut a guy's arms off with a decorative serving platter? It's all in the wrist. Let me explain. My boss gave me this power. In return, I tend to his needs, including care, feeding. You bring in people to eat? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. But if you were to stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? He won't grow to full power. Exactly. He won't grow to full power. What? That's so weird. Why would you phrase it like that? But yes. Hi. Are you here for the meeting? Well, come on. No. Um, no. Some call me the Dark One. Others, the Lord of Death. To most, I am the Dracula. Okay. Obviously, we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. Let's eat. Okay, I'm down. That looks funny. Hopefully, all the funny parts weren't in the trailer itself. But uh, yeah, it looks entertaining. Uh, and exactly what I kind of assumed was going to happen with Nicolas Cage being Dracula. So uh, that looks humorous, and I like the toxic relationship aspect. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, so I, I, it kind of reminds me there was. Um, I think it was Creep Show on Shudder had an episode where uh, these werewolves were getting together for a meeting. And uh, I forget exactly what happened. It's been a while since I've seen the episode, but uh, it was a similar plot. Like they were, you know, they were trying to work out their problems as werewolves. And uh, I guess some werewolf hunters or something came and tried to like interrupt their, their little meeting there. And it turned out pretty bloody. Uh, 
But yeah, this guy reminds me of that. I wonder though, like at the end of there when they the guidance guy, counselor, whatever's sitting there and he's I wonder if they're gonna try to sit down Dracula or if it's just gonna turn into a bloodbath at that point. But uh looks good. I, I'm I'm entertained by that trailer, so we'll we'll check it out and uh Neko should be back for April thirteenth, so maybe her and I will go check this out and see what it's all about. All right, all thanks again and uh see you next time and like I said Thursday, be looking for uh, the interview with Angel Bradford, actress and uh, sci-fi or special effects artist. Uh, I should have a Thursday evening at some point for you all, so look forward to that. All right, all. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Keep it metal. Just it before you die. Boy,